I think I've been an entrepreneur since I was born. My first businesses were babysitting and lawn mowing. I never really had a job. Now, my current mission in life is to leave this planet in better shape than when I found it. How can sun and CO2 power a jet plane? Back in 2015, the NRG Cosia Carbon X Prize was launched as a $20 million prize. And today, there are just 10 finalists left. Before the pandemic, air travel accounted for 2 to 3% of global CO2 emissions. And it is set to rise again. But what if we turn those emissions back into fuel? Meet Team Dimensional Energy from Ithaca, New York. We've been able to do what's never been done before and deploy a sunlight-driven reactor that makes the precursors for jet fuel. Similar to how a tree uses sunlight and CO2 for photosynthesis, Dimensional Energy can use the same inputs to one day make lower emission jet fuel. It's the impossible task of being as good as nature and trying to mimic the cycles that we've grown up around and evolved in. So just how do they make the seemingly impossible possible? It begins with waste CO2 being captured from industrial emissions. The CO2, along with water, is forced through a reactor driven by concentrated sunlight. It is then broken apart and reformed into the raw material to make jet fuel. If our technology proves successful, we will uh, disrupt the entire aviation industry. The aviation industry is responsible for more than 900 million tons of annual CO2 emissions. If successful, Dimensional Energy's carbon-neutral fuel could provide us a powerful tool to one day eliminate the airline's carbon footprint. When someone buys an airline ticket, they're flying through the sky carbon-neutral without even knowing it. That's what it's going to take. It really is incumbent upon the companies to use fuels like we're producing right here.